Okay, so we just arrived to the lot and there's garbage everywhere. It looks like they tore down a house here. There's this giant truck that's just totally abandoned even though it has plates on it. And there's a truck bed and we have no idea where it came from. All this is just really bizarre. We have no idea where any of it is from. These are like uh, stairway posts for the railing. So there are these two massive, I don't know if they're garbage cans or containers or what, but they're just massive and totally abandoned. These are two old radiators. It has a plate on it. I know. So you can see we found these like old couches, old appliances. So right now we're gonna go take a look at this massive truck. It looks like most of the stuff from the inside is taken out. Like they pulled all the electronics out and really just sort of scrapped the rest. The back of the truck too, you could tell that nothing's been in here for a long time. There's plants growing. You could tell that nobody's touched this truck in a really, really long time. So we found the old structure of the house. You can see just slabs of cement, bricks, sort of just strewn everywhere. This must be where they knocked the house down, and these are the remains of the foundation. Yeah. They probably knocked it down over here. This entire hill is all glass. You could tell when I kick it, it's really just completely glass. Um, one of our main theories was that if people are coming here to party, this is all the glass that they left behind. But if that were the case, you would expect to see more beer bottles and bottles of that nature. This instead is really bizarre because 
it's not beer bottles it's more like really old looking jars almost stuff like this you could see how long they've been here there's moss growing inside of them and even if it was a house that was left here this is kind of an absurd amount of glass to be left in a house so we really can't figure out what it was that was here and why there's so much glass here So we found a little creek down there. It looks pretty dead, but we're gonna go down there and check it out. So the creek is pretty dead, but there's this massive broken tree. Even down here in the creek, there's still some garbage that made it all the way down. There's even this massive appliance down there. Couldn't really tell what it was. I don't know. It looked almost like a... Uh, like a sink disposal is that a deer? Definitely sees us. Hi, dude. He's beautiful. Okay, so we came across these bones. There's the entire remains of some animal. We have no idea what kind of animal it is, though. I'm gonna say a deer. Maybe a dog. Definitely the leg right here. 
Oh, here, look, here's the skull. So, Haley found the skull, which is really, really cool, but we still have no idea what kind of animal this is. So we were on our way out and we found these totally abandoned machines. They could be someone who like owns a lot though and like this is their personal equipment. So there wouldn't be any reason for them to not, you know? You could tell that nobody's used these in days, weeks, months, maybe even years. You can see how much water is in there that tells you how long it's been left alone. It's just weird. <laughs> 